here we are, ending this first month of the new year, and I thought, hell, why don't I just do a top ten video? I had been struggling for ideas for quite some time now on a full-length show. I pretty much saturated my channel with the 4B shorts lately and figured, let's do something a bit different. So here it is, whether you asked for it or not. Here's my top 10 little-known facts about me. Some of you may wonder where I got the name Radar. Truth be told, I originally came up with the name from watching one of my favorite shows of all time, MASH. And at the time, I totally related to Radar O'Reilly. Later on, I incorporated my persona Radar to a series of short stories called the Titania Chronicles. Soon after that, I was introduced to the furry community, and he just came into his own, spinning his own personality through his art, love of antique aircraft, and his joy of writing and creating. And the rest, as they say, is history. Number nine. What first got me hooked on doing the whole radio personality shtick was by watching WKRP in Cincinnati. I thought I could be the next Dr. Johnny Fever. Yeah, it's pretty out there. Thing is, when I went to college to get my degree, I found it nothing like what I saw on TV. Pretty shocking, yeah. Classwork was dull, and I was never much of a student. But the shining light in all of it was being able to run my own radio show at my college station. I got to experiment and play around with different techniques to make me better. You know, I had a lot of fun with it, and it was quite the stress reliever when I didn't want to focus on my studies. Number eight. One of my biggest fears is high places. No, scratch that. Not so much the height as the falling to my doom part. Weird thing is, I absolutely love roller coasters. Throw in speed, loops, and corkscrews, and I'm there, baby. Number seven. Growing up, it was considered pretty rude to make fun of a bad movie, especially when you're in a theater full of people. But when I was introduced to Mystery Science Theater 3000, it became my favorite late-night show to watch. It'd feature movies such as The Brain That Wouldn't Die and Teenagers from Outer Space. It showed me that it was pretty freaking hilarious and okay to rip on some of Hollywood's worst movies ever. That, my friends, is what sparked my love of the B-movie genre. Number six. I don't know the first thing about cars or how they work. But that doesn't stop me from loving a classic. Thing is, I can't afford the cars I truly want, so I collect Hot Wheels. Yeah, that may not seem like much, but to me, it's pretty cool. At the moment, I have about 60 different styles of Hot Wheels, including, but not limited to, the a van, the Back to the Future DeLorean, and many different styles of the Batmobile. Yes, I have an addiction. Don't judge me. Number five. Many of you know that I rescued a little white cat named Sally. What some of you may not know is her full name. Shelby Mustang Sally. Of course, once again, it's derived from my love of cars and music. The classic Shelby and the song Mustang Sally. Number four. Also, it's no mystery that I love video games. Anything from the classic Atari to the newest consoles. What got me started, however, was my very first computer, the TI-99-4A. Talk about a blast from the past, huh? Well, let me tell you this. At the time, I thought it was totally wicked. Number three. A lot of you won't believe this but I'm quite the introvert. I don't like big crowds or really crowded spaces. 
I'm a very quiet person when living in the real world. I found that writing and making videos helps quite a bit. And it's helped me come out of my shell over the last several years. Number two. In the past, I got to meet some pretty awesome people, such as Jonathan Frakes from Star Trek Next Generation, Michelle Nichols from the classic Star Trek series, Trace Bulo, Frank Connor, and Mary Jo Pell from Mystery Science Theater 3000. Number one! I was an active part of community theater for five years. I starred in such plays as The Man Who Came to Dinner, Ten Little Indian, Rehearsal for Murder, Charlie's Aunt, and A Chorus Line. Doing this also helped me break through some of my introverted tendencies and form my love of the arts. So, that's it. Just a little insight of who I am and what I'm all about. If y'all enjoyed, let me know in the comments below. Give that like button a slap and be sure to share if you're so inclined. Till next time, I'll be seeing ya.